is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with more action figure news wwe and aew it seems like freaking news from wrestling figures has just been bombarding us lately guys i mean the other day we had basic series 111 leaked to us yesterday we had elite series 79 and 80 leaked to us and today we have even more news to cover regarding not only wwe elite figures and more coming we have aew figures and stuff like that coming in and some news and leaks about that so let's go ahead and discuss it all here today guys let's throw it back a little bit you guys remember way back when we covered it a little bit here we talked about the new wwe fan takeover line that was coming in 2021 this is of course where uh wwe takes to twitter they take to their you know social media platforms and they poll the audience you know they get on there they ask us what figure we want to see they give us three options i think in the past few months we've seen four different people we saw seth rollins we saw ricky the dragon steve boat we saw Shayna Baszler and we did see Adam Cole we got on here we discussed the options we discussed the things that won the polls we talked about how pissed off we were because it looks like the figures that the actual collectors wanted doesn't seem like we're going to be getting the actual figures so today ladies and gentlemen we're back again we got another series coming out that was series one Rollins Steamboat, Baszler, and Cole were all a part of series number one. Now we're diving into series number two, and we did get the next poll revealed to us, and it is none other than Christian. Yes, we have Christian and his peeps coming for wave number two, starting with the first figure, guys. You guys can see on your screen, they gave us three different options. You have Edge and Christian Christian, you have Money in the Bank 2011, and you have WrestleMania 20. Now, there are, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of upsetting, to be honest with you, and I'll get into why that is here in a second. But the poll was for these three different attires, and everyone I saw online wanted the WrestleMania 20 Elite, and that is what I voted for. I voted for the WrestleMania 20. I've been talking about this figure forever. I feel like a lot of people have been wanting this figure or a, you know, Ruthless Aggression era style Christian figure, and we have still yet to get one. This is our perfect opportunity to do so. I do not know if the poll is still up. It may still be up. If it is, click the link in the description. I'll put a description link so you guys can go vote on it right now. But that is the figure that I wanted, man. That is the figure that we wanted to see out of all three of these. We have seen a, you know, 2011 era style Christian. I mean, we got one with the Elite 11 Christian. We saw that with the best of pay-per-view where he had the, the purple tights. I'm pretty sure we have even have this exact figure. We don't have the hit the switch shirt, but we do have a Christian Elite with purple tights, if I'm not mistaken. If we don't, I think we have a basic of it. And even if we don't there, we have a figure that looks just like that. And then, of course, we do have the Elite 20 Christian, which is in the yellow tights which was a part of Edge and Christian's tag team with the with the glasses and the and everything going on with that. So I think that it is easy to say that we we need this WrestleMania 20. And if you guys can see by the voting, I don't know how many different polls I have. Shout out to D Freedom 30 for the two different looks on his story here. You guys can see here there's 24 hours left on the poll when it said that, you know, it was 28% WrestleMania 20, there were 4,000 votes on there, and it was not winning. It, Edge and Christian was winning by a landslide, and then later on in the day, uh, I think three or four hours after that, there was, uh, it had pretty much not changed at all. It was still stuck at 28%, and that is just ridiculous, man. Like, good God, what, what are we doing? And he actually goes into his story. And uh, he, he talks about the, the main reason why the WrestleMania 20 attire is probably not winning the Twitter poll is due to the majority of the voters being non-collectors. And he says, had the poll been exclusive to just collectors, I strongly believe the WrestleMania 20 attire would be winning by a landslide. Non-collectors more, more than likely have no idea that Edge and Christian and PG era versions of Christian have already been produced in figure form because they do not follow the Mattel WWE product, which is a really good you know, uh, there's a really good analysis. I think that is true, too, because you guys remember with the Seth Rollins, the WrestleMania 35 attire was winning when we already have a basic of that. The, uh, you know, when we would have we would have wanted the Thanos attire that we already had in basic form, but we really wanted that in elite figure form. And uh, it, uh, I don't know. He actually goes on to put a story up, DFreedom30 on Instagram, goes on to put a story up. He says if the Twitter poll, if the Twitter poll results are accurate to the WWE.com poll results, quite unlikely. Here are the attires that may have won. WrestleMania 35 Rollins, WrestleMania 3 Steamboat, 
NXT February 13, 2019, Cole, and then NXT TakeOver Phoenix for Shayna, and then SmackDown 2001 for Christian that uh, is still being voted on, I think, right now. So hopefully the vote is still up when you click on this video. If it is, again, I will definitely leave that link down there for you to go vote. But I desperately wanted the WrestleMania 20 Christian, so hopefully we can make that happen. I've seen customs of this before. It's a beautiful attire. I love WrestleMania 20 as an event, so I really would like to see it, even though the Chris Jericho Christian match from that show is not memorable to me. I didn't like the feud with Trish and everything, but anyways, that's besides the point. Let's dive into the other news we have, guys. We have the AEW news that I wanted to talk about. I was scanning Twitter yesterday, and I came across this like Q&A or something like that with the head guy over at AEW. Like He's, he's basically a Jazzwares partner, so he works with the people over at Jazzwares who produce the AEW action figures. They produce all kinds of great action figures and toy lines and stuff like that for different you know brands such as Pokemon, Fortnite, Micro Machines, Halo, stuff like that. They are creating the AEW figures that we are going to be getting in a couple months. So he pretty much did a Q&A figure. A Q&A figure? What the hell are you saying, Brad? He pretty much did a Q&A on his Twitter. His name's Jeremy Padauer, I think, or Padauer. And uh, he does great giveaways on Twitter as well. So if you guys want to follow him, Jeremy Com on Twitter. He does giveaways and stuff like that for eBay collectibles and stuff. So definitely go check him out. But on there, it does say, uh, you guys can see here, it says, when will a Tony Schiavone figure be released? And he says that will happen. So a Tony Schiavone figure will be released for AEW. That is actually great. So we are going to be probably getting referees. We're going to be getting commentators such as Excalibur, JR, Tony Schiavone, which is freaking sick, nasty farticles, man. I can't wait to see that. I think that will be absolutely fantastic. A Tony Schiavone figure will be so ridiculously awesome. You know, we've seen commentator figures before from WWE and Mattel. We've seen JR, Michael Cole. We've seen Corey Graves. We've seen Jerry the King Lawler. I mean, we have seen this from WWE as well. So it is really cool to see a AEW take those same steps forward and give us figures of their commentators and stuff like that. And then another thing that somebody asked, they said, they said, will you guys eventually be doing two packs for the tag teams in AEW? And he said, yep. So I do not know. This could mean two different things. This could mean that we're getting battle packs of certain, t uh, you know, tag teams and stuff like that. Or it could mean that we're going to be getting elite two packs. So it either is going to be battle packs where the art articulation isn't as much, but we could get all those tag teams such as SCU, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. Uh, you could see the Lucha Brothers. You could see guys like that. But one thing I do want to take note of is that uh, we already have elites, or not elites, but unrivaled collection figures, which is the equivalent of an elite in AEW of the Lucha Brothers and other guys like that. But I am still waiting on my Luchasaurus unrivaled collection figure, which I do think is going to be coming very soon. And I cannot wait for San Diego Comic-Con reveals, guys, because San Diego Comic-Con reveals when they, you know, actually put these out to us and stuff like that. Obviously, Comic-Con's already canceled. We already know that. We did a whole video on that, discussing that. But we also discussed how, you know, SDCC is still going to be the same. We're still going to get reveals. They're still going to do something in some way. So I'm not exactly sure how Jazzwares and AEW is going to release their images or their prototype images or whatever the hell they're going to do. They may release a video package or something. Who knows about that, what they're going to do for their AEW products that we're going to be shown off at SDCC. But as far as Mattel and WWE is concerned, I have heard from Mattel. I have heard from League guys over there that work at Mattel and the WWE elite figures and figures that we love so much. I have heard directly from their accounts that we will still get coverage, we will still get releases, we will still get all the images and stuff that typically happens with San Diego Comic Con. So I don't know what they plan on doing, whether it's going to be like Q&A style where they do like a live stream. I'm not sure if they're going to do like a video highlight such as you guys remember how Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins did it a few months back for WrestleMania Access where they just revealed the figures to us and then we got the screenshots out. I'm not entirely sure. We will have to see about that, but I think it's really awesome that uh, AEW is releasing two packs and that they will be doing commentators, managers, stuff like that in the future as well. I think uh, both of these lines are just growing exponentially. I think that both of them are going to be excellent for the future. It's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing, and the AEW figures are set to release very soon. I think in the next couple months. I think it's supposed to be the end of the summer maybe, so hopefully July or August is when they're supposed to hit shelves, and I will most definitely be reviewing them for you guys, but uh, what do you guys think about the Christian Elite poll down in the comment section below? The WWE Fan Takeover Elite line. 
Um, really awesome line. I don't agree with Shayna Baszler maybe being in there, but you know what, Brad? We got to get him in there, and her fig her new figure will definitely be bigger, better than her Elite 69 figure, so that's something to take note of, and uh, I'm excited for this, but hopefully that Christian WrestleMania 20 figure wins the poll, and uh, hopefully the fan takeover line isn't just getting taken over by non-WWE action figure fans, because that's what it seems like so far, but I think that is all of the news I have for you guys down below. Let me know, guys. Go vote if the link is still there. The link may or may not be there. I'll just have to see about that, but go vote for WrestleMania 20, Christian, unless you just don't want it. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Check out our AJ Styles ranking video from yesterday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.